Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at how you can set up Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi using Docker. Now there are a few different ways that you can install Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi, but this is my favorite because you're able to port it at a later time to a different device if you'd like to. So for example, if you purchase a NAS or you set up a home server or something like that, it's very easy to take the data exactly as it is from here and then port it over to that device using Docker as well. It also opens up the Raspberry Pi to hosting other Docker applications as well. So this is how I set up Home Assistant and this is how I would recommend it if you haven't set it up yet. Now before we get started, I just want to say that I have full written instructions for everything in the description of the video. So the first thing that you have to do is ensure that you have Docker and Portainer set up on your Raspberry Pi. If you haven't set it up yet, I have a video, I'll leave a pop-up for it now. But Portainer is basically just a container management solution. So it allows you to easily manage all of your containers. And I find it to be very easy to set up new containers as well. So set that up and then you're going to launch Portainer and then you're going to select volumes and then add volume. You can then give the volume a name and this is going to be where we store all of our containers information. So like I said earlier, if you ever wanted to port this over at a later time, you would take the contents of this folder and then you would port it over to whatever device that is. So this will hold all of your personalized settings inside of Home Assistant. Once you're done with that, you can select containers and then add container. At that point, you're gonna give your container a name and then in the image section, you have to select either the Raspberry Pi 4 image or the Raspberry Pi 3 image. Right now, these are the only two images that uh, exist. I'm not sure if the Raspberry Pi 2 would work, but you have to make sure that you select the correct image. So I have both the Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 3 images in the written instructions, which are in the description. Once you're done with that, you can select publish a new network port, and then we're going to map the host port 8123 to the container port 8123. Now this is unlikely, but if you're using port 8123 on your Raspberry Pi, for anything in specific, you're going to have to change this. Generally, I'm assuming that most people wouldn't, so you can leave this as default, but you just have to keep that in mind. Next, we're going to head over to the volume section, and then we're going to map an additional volume. You're going to then map the container path forward slash config to that Home Assistant volume that we created a little earlier. You can then head over to the restart policy and you're gonna change this to always. This will just say that if for whatever reason the Docker container stops to automatically restart it. In the runtime and resources section, you're gonna enable privileged mode. And then finally, we're gonna head over to the environment variable section and we're gonna create a new environment variable for our time zone. So you can write in TZ and then you could set whatever time zone you are currently located in. At this point, you can select deploy the container and this will now create your container. So you're gonna to have to give it a few minutes and then as soon as the container is created, you can then navigate to the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and port 8123. At that point, you should be brought directly to Home Assistant. So you can go in and you can create your account now. The next step is gonna ask you to set up your location. So you can set that and you can select whatever unit type you'd like to use. And then the next step after that is going to ask you if you'd like to share anonymous information. You can if you want. If not, you can skip over that. You will then be brought to Home Assistant. So at this point, Home Assistant is configured on your Raspberry Pi using Docker. You'll be able to come in here and you can set this up however you'd like, meaning you can add all of your home devices. And you'll then be able to manage Home Assistant. So I'm hoping that this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.